welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So today we have got a come shopping with us video. It's with my senior stylist Claire. Claire is a UK 14, she's nearly 5 foot 8 and I'm a UK 8 to 10 and 5 foot 3. So hopefully in the video you're going to see how the same item of clothes fits us probably very differently and in regards to fitting clothes we've got a really exciting video that we are filming on Friday next week for you it will be up in a couple of Sundays time I have got six ladies who I am lining up all in the same shot for you they go from a UK size 6 to a UK 20 and I think just under 5 foot to about 5 foot 9 I'm not sure of the exact um, details details but I'm going to be dressing them all live together so it means that I'm going to put every single one of them in the same outfit to begin with and then I'm going to move along the line and depending on the body shape I'll be saying okay so this t-shirt is no good because the lady's got a big bust and she needs a v-neck for example so then we'll change that t-shirt and then I'll move down the rest of the line and hopefully you'll be able to identify yourself in at least one of the body shapes that is there in front of you so for example when I put them all in jumpsuits you can go oh I'm number four so let me see what sort of jumpsuit she puts in that person for their shape so I'm really excited to bring you that for now just a quick um, intro of what I'm wearing so I've got a denim skirt on uh, I think it's from H&M but I'll link everything it's always in the description box for you I've just got some gladiator sandals I've got a t-shirt that is helping to broaden me here remember we're always trying to put you back into the hourglass shape and because I'm hippier here then I want to broaden my shoulders to recreate that shape and the jewelry that we are both wearing in the video today is from Masoma we will link everything for you we both turned up wearing exactly the same necklace which is this one it's really easy to put on and off it feels really thick and really heavy and I really like that it feels like fantastic quality you don't necessarily need to wear two when you've got that one on because I think that one just really makes an outfit pop anyway but that said you know me I like my jewelry so I am layering so I've also got on the fan necklace as well I use this on clients all the time and it's because it can split this area up so let's say I had a high neck t-shirt on there and if you've got a big bust for example that's not going to be particularly flattering so you can use a necklace like this to split that bust area up make it look smaller and overall it will help to balance the overall outfit so I love that I wear that one all the time as well. My ring there is also from Masoma. That one is Monica Vinada. And then a new Masoma bracelet that I have just had is this really nice chain bracelet. The fact that you can see your skin through there and the texture of the others means that it stacks really well. So yeah, so that's what we're wearing today. So we had actually already recorded this introduction, but the music in H&M was so loud that hence I'm having to refilm it right now. So the video is just gonna jump straight into Claire and I in Reese, I think. Now Reese is a higher price point. So just fast forward it if that's not where your price point lies. There, the rest of the video is all from H&M and places like that. So hopefully there's going to be something in there for everyone I hope you enjoy if you do please press that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up because it makes a massive difference to bringing you this free content every week so I hope you enjoy it here we go in Reese and I think together actually makes us look huge because it looks like one, one big mess let me spot so we just both spotted this dress as we came in and um, I've got it on with some lovely gold heels it's got that little split up the side here it's a bit booby on me and um, less so on you isn't maybe it maybe I've got it pulled a bit round there so oh okay maybe. so you've got it a bit tighter bit tighter yeah. okay actually that would be quite beneficial if you, if you could do, do that more. that's it that feels like it's going to keep me in a little bit better so you can obviously pull this as tight as you want um, very flattering on the sleeves beautiful sleeves in fact show it to you on 
Um, I went to say Sarah, but your name's not Sarah. <laughs> Claire. Claire. <laughs> How many times have I forgot your name today? Mm, three. <laughs> three. <laughs> So far. <laughs> yeah, so far. Um, but yeah, very lovely dress. I'd say more of like a, a going outy work event type of dress. Yeah, but nice because actually it could be transitional. So yeah. It works kind of now, but then still into winter, you could add a boot to this quite easily. A black boot would look really nice. Yeah. Um, we've got a really nice black blazer actually to show you, so you could possibly put that on as well. Um, I'm wearing a UK 8. 14. 14 from um, Claire there so yeah a good first start in Greece. The really beautiful jumpsuit very silky very easy to wear. It's got a beautiful cowl soft neckline you've got to like your arms though in order to wear this because obviously your arms are on display um, but it's a beautiful trouser suit I've got it on with those gorgeous gold shoes which is giving me the height I need to elongate my legs but that is a really beautiful jumpsuit look at this <laughs> we've never seen it before but Claire in really <laughs> smart stuff and a heel this is like so out of Claire's comfort zone it is unbelievable I do, but I do like a trouser suit I just don't like it but how lovely do you look in this it? This is a beautiful one. It and is actually, beautiful. These trousers are lovely. Just that really simple, slightly tapered leg, pressed yeah. crease at the front, hitting at a nice point with these shoes. And those shoes, they are beautiful. Such soft leather. And that point at the top of the foot, as well as the point at the bottom of the foot, is really elongating. Not that you need to look any taller. Um, but this that is a looks lovely beautiful. Shape as well, yeah, actually. lovely. This really nice the button lapel. is hitting you right at that right spot, and those trousers couldn't fit you any better. So, really, really nice. It's got some good structure on the shoulders as well, hasn't it? Yeah, is it wool? I think it is a wool blend. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, so it's a 50% wool. And can you see how Claire has just kept her white top on? And I think the key to making it look young and fresher is just to keep that top in the middle simple rather than trying to add a blouse to that. Almost if you add a blouse then I probably wouldn't add the blazer as well. Um, sometimes the blouse, the blazer and the trouser suit can look too much unless obviously you're going into a very formal business environment of which um, then it would obviously look lovely but yeah, yeah really I guess nice this top allows this to be the hero the suit to be the hero that's it? a really good way of putting it's it really yeah nice. exactly really nice okay so we've both elevated things up a little bit looking very posh now so as you can see Claire has just changed the blazer for the black blazer instead this is a beautiful ba blazer um, I've got it in the cream and if I go close up you'll see it's got a really nice twill, twill on it twill yeah. yeah and the buttons there have got the brown color in which is bringing in the trousers beautifully and this is where those shoes here really come into their own as well because they allow you to add the black in without it dominating the entire outfit black belt would be nice yeah that black belt too. would be nice lovely up. wouldn't it yeah really really nice and I've gone for the winter white type of look so we've got some silky trousers on that I've got an elasticated waistband can you see that so very very comfy a really plain cream knit and we've gone for a beautiful white coat so obviously I've just thrown it over my shoulders at the moment um, but it has got the seam on the shoulder which means that it should look lovely on. I will try that on right now for you. And there's that coat on. It is stunning. God help you if you've got children around you with sticky fingers but if you haven't and you want a really nice wow coat for that winter white feel then that one is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're loving Claire in this next dress, but it's got a huge crease on and she's got leopard pants on. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hoping you can see them. I just thought we may as well tell them all. They're quite big. <laughs> they're not 
<laughs> they're not sexy pants. They're not sexy pants. Um, so if you can see that through the dress, don't let <laughs> yeah, don't let it put you off because the dress is stunning. It's just the splits at the side, but it's like that elegant. Um, really understated Un elegance that's exactly the right up my street exactly stress. the phrase i was looking for it's really really beautiful i'm not sure that it's coming across on the camera i really don't but it is really really beautiful that's that's my favorite item i think so far really nice just perhaps minus the leopard leopard pants, pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's um, get something else on for you. Excuse Claire, she is doing the links down there for you. So when we find these items, we obviously have to try and find them to link them for you. We're just checking that everything that we've shown you is actually in stock. But in the meantime, I have got on these really lovely navy blue um, boot cut trousers. I've still got a heel on underneath. They're a really nice shape there and we've got it on with this really stunning, beautiful blouse. The trousers have got the seam all the way down the middle bit, which is often incredibly flattering on people. They're really high-waisted. I've got them with the crocodile brown reese belt, which I think was in the sale last time I looked, and I wear that personally all the time. So another nice outfit there. So we are in Mango. We are both wearing the same straight-legged, is it, Claire? They're a straight leg, high-rise. I think that no stretch, so they're a crop. As yeah, well. a crop. And these are the jeans that we recommend for probably loads, well, loads of clients. Yeah. What I think it's a universal jean shape that yeah. suits everybody, mostly. Exactly. And, um, this is a good one. I really like it. I like how the washes come up, the denim quality is really nice. Um, touch long on you, yes. so we'd have to cut the hem. Yeah, so can you see the difference there? So where I have turned them up to is where we would actually cut them to. Um, but the fact that they have got the raw hem on anyway means that that's not an issue. So they're a good jean from us from a styling point of view that we know whether you're sort of five foot eight-ish like, I keep saying you're five foot eight now. Um, she doesn't like me. I don't know who I am. <laughs> Five foot seven and a half versus my five foot three and a half, then they fit. Um, obviously, anything taller than that, then we'd need to get you a longer length. I think so. They'd be yeah. too short. Yeah, definitely be too short. But um, nice on the rise there as well. Yeah, I'm wearing yeah. I'm wearing a UK ten at the moment. You've got on a UK fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. In here, yeah. And we've both just got a striped top on, keeping it really simple. Both of these tops are from Mango. We will do our best to link everything for you. So next all we have done is added a couple of different trench coats. So the one I've got on is £140. It is stiffer in fabric so it doesn't drape as perhaps nicely as the one that Claire has got on. This feels like it probably is waterproof. I don't know about yours. Showerproof. Yeah. Showerproof, okay. And the benefit of the one that I've got on is there's a really strong structure in the shoulders. So if you are a very big pair in terms of the size difference between your bottom and your top, so maybe you're a 16 on the bottom and maybe a 12 on the top, then the structure of this one is going to be good for you. Yeah, and that's setting sleeve as well. Yeah, the setting sleeve as well is what you need. Um, I do feel on me again being petite that this one is overpowering my frame a little bit um, just that little bit too long if yours had that fluidity I think you could get away with the length exactly well. so it's probably worth me trying on the green one and yes. you trying on this one we'll do a quick swap for you in a minute but um, we really like that one this one's a lovely shade of green actually it's really, like really nice shade of green olive, I think, yeah good neutral good neutral and neutral for everybody as well yeah. regardless of being blonde or dark and that one's cheaper that one this one is 99.99 so and you're wearing at the moment and in... i've got a large on it is quite big i probably could have had a medium yeah I think but i quite have... like it loose for myself but yeah and there you go we have just swapped over 
so there's the green one on me I swapped that for a size small still feels quite big on me and I think it's because it's quite long but we're definitely preferring this one and we have just tried scanning it in to show you on the website and it comes up as light brown but it's actually more of a we think like an olivey green yeah, don't really we really soft olive, really yeah. soft olive. it's um, actually a very nice color beautiful. and not the color that it is on the website and there is claire in the slightly stiffer version so that's the 199 pound and right now she's still wearing the size small so these are obviously coming up really big and she yes. can do it up lightly yeah wearing the green one she had the size large on but i'd say that one is slightly more formally feel. Uh, I'd say a little bit more yeah a little bit more yeah. structured structured so next we've both got the same jeans on um, we thought to be honest with you that they were only going to suit uh, Claire because she has got the length in the leg as you can see but they're not too bad on myself as well I they're think great on you <laughs> you know, she says she likes them but I feel very conscious of this area and I think um, this is my sort of widest point here and then they're feeling quite tight on that widest point as well which I think it just shows you a lot of style is about confidence and how you're feeling Absolutely, it yeah. and I feel like they're coming across you're really completely drawn to here yes yeah. yeah so I'm focusing on that but generally speaking um really really nice jeans yeah great jean really actually comfortable easy to wear in a nice leg shape because these are great with trainers sandals nice the little boot that we've got on Flat yeah boots are great yeah they're, slim to the they're really nice and these are a really nice color as well i think they'll go with lots nice comfortable heel all right on to the next thing okay so still in mango trying on faux leather trousers here i have got on the uh, jogging pants style very comfortable elasticated waist i'm wearing them in a uk 10 the good thing about these is that they've got, well, that's them normally, obviously, that length, but they've got quite a thick hem on, so it allows you to roll it up, but it will actually stay in place. So, obviously, that benefits me being smaller. And Claire has got some lovely straight leg ones on. Like a nice straight leg proper trouser fit so not a legging so you've got a nice waistband to tuck into yeah they've got um, pockets on the pockets front and the back on the back as well they're a good length ankle bracer on me and i wear my usual size yeah um, really nice and how much are those i just saw the tag on the back let's have a look they are 45.99 so yeah really nice the top is also from mango we will link everything for you next we've got this really lovely jumpsuit kind of silky a little bit pajama like maybe but i think once you put all the gold jewelry with it it would be really nice i'm not sure if you can see the color it's like a mauvey brown co brown color i think it might be coming up a bit purple on the screen i'm not quite sure because of all the artificial lights but it drapes really beautifully and very flattering on and there it is in the darker gray color which is really nice as well it's almost like a petroly blue gray feels like it feels like you're wearing some silk pyjamas actually and I think it would be incredibly flattering on a lot of people because it's going to broaden you out here, nip you in at the waist and then the extra long leg length there is always going to be flattering. I'd need to wear a heel with those unless I cut them off and wore them with some trainers but I think a heel would be quite nice hiding it underneath to give that elongation. So we were just on our way out, but we spotted a really nice kind of like blanket coat, we call like, them. Like a double fay. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, here it is. We're still in mango. Let me have a look how much it is for you. It's 139. Really nice camel colour. And can you see how just how Claire's belt there just helps to bring in that coat? also her shoes there and just keeping the base just plain with white in the middle means that that coat will always go with anything that you put on so yeah really nice okay so we are now in cos 
and we have been trying lots of things on but I think the general consensus is that the jeans haven't been very successful on our curvy hips yeah not great for curves not yeah. great at all these ones here are the only ones that we found kind of fit me they're like a bit of a, a barrel leg um, but generally speaking we're not fans unless you've got really nice long lean and you're very sort of rectangular you haven't got the curvy so, yeah. the curvy hips but we both do like the jackets that we've got on right now and also my top is also from uh, cos as well so little crop jackets often better to wear a crop jacket when you've got yeah. a wider jean especially if you're small like me because it stops the um the jacket and the jeans if they're both baggy it stops it from overwhelming your whole frame where you could very easily do short or long couldn't you because you've got the height yeah often i think sometimes a short jacket just feels a little bit easier more like a car coat when you're getting in and out of the car and you've not got all that fabric so yes a bit exactly. of an easy chuck on yeah exactly just a nice layer so this is that blanket fabric again so the double sided double faced and it's very kind of soft so it feels a bit like a structured cardi yeah and um, that is a size small this is wasn't small. it yeah. now i tried that on in the size small and it was absolutely huge on me but the size small fits you really well and yeah. all Ordinarily, you would go for a large in things, wouldn't you? In a jacket, especially. Yeah. Yes. So it's quite loose still, and quite boxy. Yep. Really nice. And there's a close up on the jacket that I'm wearing. So this is like a what would you call that? Like a twill, like a twill cotton a jersey. Twill. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Again, goes well with a wider leg jean. It's got more structure than the one you're wearing, which is probably why it suits this one suits me better because. I need the structure because I'm smaller, where Claire can get away with that flowing flowingness. Yeah, flowy fabric. Sitting a little bit near your shoulder, isn't it, as well? Yeah, well, so this it's, one's nothing. Yeah, so it's helping to balance out my hips there. The little white vest tops are nice from COS, and we often get our white t-shirts as well from COS. And um, we don't get the boxy ones, we get more of their um, their basic it's range. The basic one, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they're really nice they as do well. a nice V as well nice V-neck V-neck great so if you've got a bigger bust and you go for a V-neck then COS is a really good place to get your white t-shirt from okay now we were on our way out but we've just found this jacket which is very similar to the navy one that I had on at the start but as you can see it's slightly longer and where is it from? COS but what section? The men's. The men's <laughs> section. So don't discount things like that. Often they will come a little bit longer rather than cropped or um, they'll just be a slight tweak to the style, which might mean that it might suit your body shape better than whatever is in the women's section. Absolutely. I feel like if you're looking for an oversized jacket, it's the perfect place to look as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it's a beautiful a colour, choice. isn't it? It's like a... Um, like an olive green again. Yeah, isn't it? but like kind of really dusted cooler green, which is quite nice. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, we. Okay, so we are now in Arquette. We have got exactly the same pair of jeans on. And look, they're coming at the same length on both of us. <laughs> Yet I'm five foot three. I've got a flat trade on. I haven't got a uh, wedge on. But anyway, I have just put on the jacket from COS, which I actually bought and you've got the jumper on from Arquette and nice Which bag there from beautiful Arquette. beautiful jumper, cashmere, lovely slouchy modern shape, nice colour as well because it's bright yeah, ivory. Yeah, really nice. And I quite like it, slouchy, slouchy with the jeans. If it's tucked in, you can see your waist. Yes, because if you pull um, that out, do you want to just show if you pull I that out? Then there you go, it's going to look quite a bit more shapeless. But because you are tall, you can still get away with that a little bit. Whereas if I did that, I'd look really short and stubby. So you always have to think about how things are going to fit on your body shape and not just what it looked like on Claire or what it looked like on me. You really have to adapt things because they can look so different on so many different people, can't they? It's got cashmere in. And it's that kind of oversized look, but it's not adding volume. Bulk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whereas some of them just a bit the too drape thin. is still nice. Like yeah, you can still exactly. see your bust line. Yeah. Well, when they're too thick and spongy, you've been saying, isn't it? Haven't it? You know, when they're spongy, yeah, then it just kind of adds the size. Yeah, or two. adds the bulk, doesn't it? So 
yeah, so they are really nice. We will link everything. The jeans are really high waisted. Um, I've yeah, got a UK. They feel very nice and they're like they're tucked holding in you here. in. I've got a belly and yeah. it's tucked in. Yeah, um, I've got a UK 10 on and not going to lie, they are a little bit tight. I think they're going up my backside so I don't turn around. <laughs> <laughs> but the 12 on me is too big because it's too big around my waist so what I would be doing is a few lunges yeah and they'll give because they're 100% cotton yeah um, and I've got 14 on um, again they're tight but I wouldn't I wouldn't want them any bigger because yeah. I know they'll give a little bit exactly so let's see what else we can find for you from Arquette okay so two very different looks here I would class this look as so Claire yeah yeah this, i feel very comfy other than it's really hot yeah it's really it's like we're having a heat wave here in england it has been cold all summer and the day we come out shopping today it's um boiling hot and um yeah she's in a big fluffy but, you jumper. know when it gets a bit cooler i think this knit is lovely it's a lovely boucle yarn it doesn't look like it's too fluffy or hairy it's just a really nice texture and you know the benefit of this is that it won't bobble as such. It won't bobble. You, you won't see the wear in it. It's not going to show stains either because yeah. it's kind of like a marley OT. It's almost in between like a fleece yeah. and a boucle. Yeah, yeah, but it no. is. Yeah. But nice very... and kind of long. So you could wear it with a nice kind of leather legging and a chunky boot. That would look really yeah, great. Yeah, it would look really nice. But I quite like it with these really easy jeans. I mean, they're so comfortable for a white jean. They look a bit like a trouser. But you, we ropes. did have we did have to size up in those because I tried those on as well, didn't we? These are a thirty-three. I'm not actually sure what that. So that's a waist. To, a waist but it fits me fourteen, and they fit really nicely on yeah. the waist and through the hip. Um, that was the biggest size they had. So I'm not now sure. I tried them on in a UK ten in those whites, which is what usually I am, and I could barely get them up over my thighs. Um, hence why I haven't got them on right now but what I've got on instead is probably the first pair of pleated trousers to suit me all day they've come at the perfect length for me I've got them on with just some black sambas at the moment um, this vest is a really nice shape as well uh, obviously we're in our, our kit it is I'd say just about covering my bra strap with a little bit of manipulation there it's not too see through and I think when you have got a wide leg trouser on like that if you are short like me then you probably need to show that you're more petite around your waistline area if I was to put a big jumper on now then I'm probably going to look very overwhelmed in it and a lot bigger than I actually am so tight top baggy trousers works well if you are petite so we will link everything as normal so I've now got on a denim skirt it actually fits me at a really good length there um, I'm 5'3", as I've mentioned 101 times today, um, but it's quite hard to find a denim skirt at a good length for my height. Um, all the ordinary ones, they all fit um, Claire really, really well, but they're too overwhelming on me. So we're still in our kit and we will link it for you. And just to show you, that's what it looks like when you just throw a jumper on. I really like the contrast between wearing like a cashmere knit and then still, you know, a Birkenstock, a trainer or a gladiator sandal. I think we can get away with that in this transitional weather that we're having right now. So that's really nice. Um, just noticing how the jewellery really looks nice against the cream there as well. I know we've told you that that is Masoma. That's Claire and I are wearing that today. I've also got Masoma there on that finger, and that one is Monica Vinader. We will link all of these things for you. Okay, and the final thing to show you in our kit is this really lovely shirt dress. It's got splits at the side. Um, I've just left one of the buttons undone down there. It's got pockets as you can see. It's like a really flowing sort of silky fabric. I'm not sure what you call it. The neckline is actually like that. I hope you can see that, which on me is too much. So all I would do is open the neckline up like that by tucking it under. Sometimes I just tuck in one side and then I iron the other side flat. 
but then that exposes the neckline, shows a little bit of flesh and stops the dress, particularly like a dark colour like navy or if you had black on, looking too much on somebody. It's like the dress is wearing them rather than them wearing the dress because look, if I do that now, like that, and I almost hide any flesh, you can see suddenly I've gone very matron-like. So open it up there, make sure that you've got a bit of leg showing and then that is a really lovely dress. We'll link it for you. So I've come back in again today by myself to a better um, H&M and I've got lots of things to show you here, found loads today. So it just shows you some days you go shopping and you can't find anything and at other times there's absolutely loads of stuff. So um, I am wearing my dress from me and M. I've got some Masoma jewellery on. I'm loving the Masoma jewellery at the moment, aren't I? I've got the, what I call the fan one. I'm not sure if that's actually what you call it or not. I'll link it and the snake one. But what I like about this one is that it fills a gap. So if you've got like a big V-neck, then it seems to fill that gap really nicely. And it's really nice if you've got a higher neck on and you've got that hanging over as well. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. And let me get started and show you what I find. Okay, so first up, we have this really gorgeous jumper. It is a cashmere blend. I often struggle with these necks making them look right. I love the idea of it because it's nice and warm for the winter. But I find when that neck is really tight like that, um, I almost lose my, well, I do lose my neck and I always feel it doesn't suit me. But when you've got a little bit of extra bag there, so almost like a small cow neck, it's a lot more flattering because you can just see more of this neckline. So it doesn't look like it cuts you off as much. Uh, it's got slightly wide sleeves, but it drapes really nice. And that's the cashmere that's coming out in it that just makes it feel and look really nice. So I have just got it on um, with some exercise leggings at the moment, really high waisted. So I'm looking at these leggings, not necessarily to exercise in, but actually more just for putting some cream boots with it and then putting a long coat over it. I just like the color of them really, but they feel really nice. I've tried them on in the small and the medium. If I was exercising in them, I would go for the small if that helps anybody out because you want them holding up in place. But because I don't want to exercise in them, I'm going to go for the medium, just so that they're a little bit more comfortable just for sitting around the house in. But yeah, really nice colour. I've also picked up a top to match the, ex the exercise pants as well. So I'll try that now for you. And there you go. There's the kind of coordinated jumper with it. Now, the reason I've thrown this jumper over my shoulders is just to show you the effect that when you put perhaps a lighter colour over it, it really helps contrast and it can look really nice with like a long cream Mac, for example. But the tones that are all really nice and muted means that it looks really nice. But equally, you can take that off. This colour is a good way of doing colour in your exercise gear without it showing up every lump and bump because the lighter you go, generally speaking, the more you're going to show up your lumps and bumps. But this sort of mocha colour is very good for contrasting with gold and very good because it's quite a dense, thick colour, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. Ros would be um, going mad, our colour specialist right now. But that's where I see it. It's thicker, denser, but it's not as dark as dark brown. So it suits a lot of people and yet yeah, it hides the bit of cellulite on your backside. And I've, I go up in the jumper as well, can you see? So it's quite long on me. And I do that because I like to hide my backside, to be honest with you. So that's the reason I go up. But yeah, really nice just for hanging out around the house. And but if matchy matchy isn't your thing, then just pick a lighter contrasting colour to put with it. So just like the uh, cashmere jumper that I had on the start, but instead of a cashmere jumper, it's just a hoodie in the same colour. I've sized up on this as well, so I've gone for a medium, again, just so it 
covers my backside and makes me feel more comfortable. So um, you get the size, whatever makes you feel comfortable. But that's a really nice way of mixing and matching. And you can probably see there just from those combinations how I can sort of elevate that look up or take it down because all of the colours are mixing and matching really, really nicely. So, um, yeah, I think all of those are coming home with me. And the third sort of piece to the capsule wardrobe relaxing gear that we're just looking at here is just to buy the matching joggers as well. So if I grab this jumper that we had on originally with the leggings, you could see how I could also put that with the joggers and the colours would all go really well. So you can create probably there about eight or nine different combinations just using the two different colourways. And the tones are also nice that whatever combination you put together, it would look really nice. So I will link everything for you. Okay, so you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit here. So imagine this with just some really nice uh, jeans or just really casual daytime jeans actually. And it's like a boucle white blazer. When you do it up, it's going to give a really beautiful silhouette. It just looks a bit rubbish with this dress hanging out at the moment. So that's it done up. But I would be wearing that a lot more casually, just, yeah, like over a pair of trousers. And it kind of feels more like that in-between jacket between a coat and a blazer. Uh, really thick material. I doubt that this is going to be around much. A little bit of a different detail here. Can you see on the buttons? The buttons have actually got the fabric over the button where a lot of stuff at the moment is really gold and um, bright gold buttons basically so if you don't like that gold look this is a really good alternative i'm wearing a uk 10 at the moment and i'd say it's a little bit big but i do still like a little bit oversized and i'm thinking wearing a polo neck jumper or something like that underneath it for winter but it looks more expensive than it is so we'll link that one for you as Next, I found this really beautiful dress. We tried on a sort of similar style to this. You'll see it in the video in Reese yesterday. Uh, this is clearly a quarter of the price. Very flattering. A lot of people can do this ruching here. It's going to make a lot of people look smaller around their um, stomach area. A um, little split up there. It actually looks like it's ripped, but it's not. I think it's just really needs an iron. Sorry about the changing light, by the way. The changing rooms have been awful over these last couple of days. That is a size small covers your arms up if you're worried about your bingo wings it's going to draw you in at the waist perhaps no good if you've got a really big bust um, but you could always do what I'm doing right now is just put in a necklace and that is going to help separate the bust area um, but yeah very flattering I could see that working on a lot of my clients so I think I might pick one of those up for the studio and try it on a few people I'll link it so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you are interested in having an online consultation with either myself or with Claire or with Roz, Roz is also a colour specialist, then please do visit our website where you can see all the details about all of our services, face-to-face -face services online, our courses, everything else. So um, we will put the details for our website below, but you'll also find all the details in the description box, which is under where the video plays. That's it for today. So we look forward to bringing you the big lineup of women for next week. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.